I worry about patients who are mine, who've, let's say, come to me after a journey of six, seven, eight IVF cycles, and they still want to do three, four, five more and all the hormones they've been on, especially in patients who've taken a medication called Clomid. So there might be an increased risk of ovarian cancer associated with Clomid. There was a study published in August of 2024 titled Fertility, Drugs, and Cancer. And it was a nice summary about the risks from these drugs. And so I feel like fertility doctors need to know about this test. And I think it should be part of our counseling saying, look, like after your journey, maybe in 10 years, start doing the gallery test on a maybe annual basis or every three to five years, something like that. How do we get more doctors to know about this test? Well, hopefully things like today's podcast are one of the things that we can do to help spread the word. What we're finding a lot is patients are coming to their doctors and maybe it's the primary care provider. Maybe it's their fertility specialist, someone else to say, I heard about this test from any number of sources. I'd like to learn more information. So sometimes and not rarely patients are actually educating their providers. I also have a team of medical science liaisons, so medical professionals across the country whose entire job it is to go out and educate healthcare providers, to tell them about our studies, to tell about the validation, 